Hello, World Travel Magazine viewers. I am Fernando Rojo, the general manager of Shaw Wellness Clinic. And I am here to virtually bring you closer to our property. Sha is a transforming, life-changing experience. Our 360 degree Sha method brings together the latest, most advanced scientific medicine, especially in preventive, genetic, and anti-aging medicine. Together with the most effective and proven natural therapies and giving a special relevance to a healthy and balanced nutrition. A spa break before lunch. Spending the afternoons between consultations until tea time. Enjoy the sunset from the rooftop and close the day watching a movie or listening to live music. As you can see, while staying at Cha, our guests also enjoy hospitality in a luxury environment with beautiful surroundings to relax and rejuvenate. Sha is located on a hillside overlooking the Mediterranean Sea and the Sierra Helada Natural Park. The area's mild microclimate is considered one of the best in the world, and it is an important factor in maintaining optimal health. Sha features 93 suites, 11 private residences, a restaurant, a hydrotherapy circuit, an outdoor infinity pool, a roof terrace with spectacular views, and a clinical area with 30 consultation rooms and 80 treatment cabins. A 6,000 square meters complex that strives for a single goal, complete well-being. It has been a pleasure for us to show you Shaw Wellness Clinic. We look forward to welcoming you soon to help you reach the best version of yourself. Now, our top expert in preventive medicine, Dr. Vicente Mera, will give you the best tips for a longer and fuller life. Hello, everybody. I, I am Dr. Vicente Mera, and I am responsible for the healthy aging department here in Shaw Wellness Clinic. This is the moment to tell you some tips that we can recommend for what we call healthy aging. The weight is uh, probably the most important or, uh, factor that we can uh, modify in order to improve our healthy aging. Uh, nutrition is the best way to do that. There are two things that we can do. First of all is uh, take care of uh, the quality of the food that we eat, but also take care of the quantity of the food that we eat. This is very important, not only the quality, also the quantity. And uh, uh, in terms of quality, uh, we recommend to uh, introduce something that uh, we love, the miso soup, for instance, as a part of the detox uh, protocol and also for healthy aging. It's extraordinary. It's very good for many other uh, factors uh, in the healthy aging. And the things that you have to avoid, probably uh, red meat. Red meat is one of the things that we have to, not to avoid, but limit or moderate. Apart from red meat, there is a lot of, uh, you know, research concerning uh, cancer, colon cancer, and some other uh, problems with uh, cardiovascular disease with uh, red meat. So try to moderate or avoid uh, red meat. So take the proteins from vegetables rather than animals. Or uh, white meat is another option, or fish, of course. The second point that you can limit or moderate is dairy products. Dairy products are very tasty, very uh, widely introduced in our diet, but with a lot of problems, particularly cardiovascular and digestive problems. So lactose, milk, uh, cheese, the butter, and some others should be strongly moderated if you want to live longer. Gluten is another thing that we have to, but this is specifically we recommend to test if it is necessary or not to limit or moderate gluten. But there is a lot of people with problems with gluten and uh, fructose intolerances that you should first of all uh, uh, test before you limit or avoid it because this is a very important part of our diet. We recommend two tips. Number one, is uh, the mm, type of exercise that you should do. Uh, there is a 50%, the new research uh, says, states that 50% of the time should be dedicated to a cardiovascular exercise. 
whatever you like, walking, swimming, riding a horse, dancing, whatever you like, but cardiovascular. The other 50% uh, should be weights. You have to go to the gym and do, obviously, according to your own body or your own capacity, your own wishes, but you have to dedicate at least 50% of the time in the gym or doing exercises with a personal trainer, any type of uh, uh, Pilates or any other things that the personal trainer can help you. It's very important to avoid injuries because at certain ages, you try to prevent illnesses and you the only thing that you do is produce an injury. So try to avoid injuries. The best way is a personal trainer who can say, do this, don't do the other thing, okay? Sleep is extraordinarily important for um, a healthy aging. It's the way that we have to uh, rest and the way that we have to recover. And it's the moment where we can uh, delete all the information that we have used during the daytime in our brain. If you want to be uh, rested, you have to uh, obviously sleep. There are three things that we do simultaneously and they are not the same, so we have to try to identify if any of them. The first one is I close my eyes. Not all who are uh, closing the eyes are sleeping. The second point is I actually sleep. But not, sleep is not enough, we have to rest. So I close my eyes, I sleep, I rest. And this is only possible when we really have a good uh, dream. So uh, normally we recommend, because this is really, really uh, frequent in many patients, all those who snore and has uh, you know, bad sleep, they have that, but you will be surprised that many people particularly overweight people, that they ignore that they have problems with the sleep, they do have a big problem with the sleep. So a simple test that now is simplified a lot to try to identify sleep apnea, snoring, or some other uh, issues during the sleep is strongly recommended. You can do that everywhere. Here in Sha, we can do to practically every patient at night and we can identify if you sleep, if you don't sleep, if you rest or you don't rest. The mm, number of hours, this is obviously the quality of the sleep. There is another thing that is the number of hours that we sleep. This is a different thing. And the third point is the, mm, obviously the disturbance of the sleep. You have to sleep probably early in the morning. We have to wake up and we have to go to bed before midnight. So this is the third problem. Now with the uh, digital you know, uh, pollution and contamination, we can go to bed very, very late and with all this uh, technology that uh, TV series, you know, uh, devices that takes all our time at night. So we have to try to sleep a minimum, a minimum of 40 hours per week and a maximum of 60 hours. It's not necessary to sleep too much either. So the ideal point is 50 hours per week that means seven hours, seven days, and this is the minimum and the ideal point. With this, you can rest. But uh, the second point is uh, people who can change the time uh, zones, areas. So you can go from New York to Singapore, and obviously you change completely the uh, sleep. Uh, sometimes it's necessary to help with uh, some supplementation such as uh, melatonin or some other physical treatments for that. In summary, three topics. One is sleep, the appropriate number of hours, uh, ideally seven hours, seven to eight hours every day. Number two, uh, quality of your sleep. So you have to test if you really rest or not during the sleep and obviously Try to get rid of stress and any other uh, inconvenience that could modify the number of hours that you sleep during the daytime. This is one of the most important points in the uh, healthy aging uh, protocol. We uh, introduce in our body a lot of toxins that we know that they are bad for our body, such as alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, legal or illegal. And uh, this is very important to try to get rid of this. Our liver has a limited capacity to detox. We also have kidneys, skin. There are many ways to get rid of these toxins. 
The best way is try to avoid them, but if you cannot avoid the toxins, you can clean and you can detox. Here in Shao, we have a wonderful opportunities to do that with uh, intravenous supplementation. We have also uh, some protocols to get rid of all these toxins. The second point is the toxins that we introduce into the body without knowing that. This is more difficult, obviously. And I'm talking about pollution, for instance. It depends on the uh, town or country where you live. You can have a lot of uh, pollution and this will uh, jeopardize your health in a way that you can have from cancer to cardiovascular disease. It's very uh, related, closely related to this uh, pollution. There is another thing that is the food, obviously. The food is not the same food that we used to eat many years ago. So there is a lot of particles in the um, food that we don't like to take, such as conservants, colorants, uh, additives of all type, that they can, in a big amount, can produce big problems with the uh, liver, kidney, skin, hair, hormones, and they can produce cancer. Not always we are informed about what we eat. So this is very important, try to eat healthily and try to uh, identify these toxins before we eat. Normally uh, food and water is the main sources for that. If you cannot do that, obviously the only possibility is uh, detox. You can detox with uh, many protocols that we have here, uh, intravenous, uh, massage, skin, uh, lung, kidney and so on. Obviously this is the most important uh, connection between all the factors that we have mentioned previously. Uh, the immune system is essential to keep a healthy uh, life and uh, well we can boost uh, enormously the uh, immune system and in times that we are living now with the uh, corona and so on we have to boost our immune system to prevent not only infections of corona and some others but also cancer the immune system will and uh, will help us with uh, infections cancer and obviously inflammation which is uh, the most important process in aging so the aging process is mostly because of inflammation which is the uh, uh, strongly uh, controlled by the immune system. If you have a, a strong immune system that you can boost with many uh, products, with food, there are particular food that can help you and there are many supplementation that could help you with uh, to boost, but uh, resting, uh, doing exercise, uh, manage, good management of stress, all these factors could Im improve and boost your immune system. The hormones are uh, the orchestra of our body full of instruments that make our life better. Uh, we have uh, dozens of hormones, every hormone with a different uh, mission and task and we have to uh, identify uh, the situation of everyone. The, normally with the pass of the time the hormones decline and the interaction between hormones are uh, different. So I'm talking about menopause, andropause, it's different in men and women, completely different, but at the end it could be similar. So uh, the, it's not only the sex drive, it's not only the capacity to enjoy sex life, but it's mostly because the uh, muscle, we lose muscle with the pass of the time because the hormones, the sexual hormones uh, decline and sometimes disappear completely. The skin uh, start to be dry, we lose hair, we have no mobility, the elasticity, the endurance, the stamina uh, disappear completely from our body because of a lack of hormones. We have good solution for that, is first of all identify the problem and before you have any of these symptoms that I have uh, related, such as uh, uh, dry skin, it is a libido low, very low, or any other problems such as no muscles or um, uh, mood swings. This is sometimes the, the first symptom that we refer is that uh, uh, the, our memory is also bad and we don't remember things, we don't have interest in anything. 
So this is mostly because of hormones. And we can replace the hormone. There is a very easy, there are some risks, obviously. So we have to detect the risks. And um, there is 10-15% uh, of the population who cannot take the hormones, but the rest, uh, they can take it and we can improve a lot the quality of life by replacing hormones, not only the sexual hormones, also the growth hormones and many other th hormones. The thyroid is very common and is failing constantly, so we have to test it and they improve uh, our quality of life. So. Uh, it's very important to try to identify the problems and try to replace the hormones if necessary. Obviously, sometimes it's not necessary and we don't need that. Finally, the uh, gut flora, the microbiome. Uh, we have uh, 10 times more uh, bacteria in our, some other uh, microorganisms in our gut than our own cells. So, strictly speaking, we belong to bacteria more than they, our gut belongs to them rather than we have our own gut. We have to take extremely care of our flora. How can we do that? Well, mostly because of uh, our nutrition. We are what we eat and we are what we absorb. My recommendation is that a, a good combination of healthy food that we have discussed previously, along with a, a good immune system, and we, we get that, uh, we can find a good flora, and we can feed our flora and we can avoid the bad flora to grow. It's not only what to eat then, but it's also uh, where to buy what we eat to uh, feed our, our flora. Uh, we recommend uh, organic food as much as possible with no metals, with no colorants, with no additives to, because all this can change our flora. The second point is how to cook the food. The same food could produce different effects on our flora according to how we cook. It's completely different if we take French fries, for instance, that we take, uh, you know, uh, 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 steamed uh, potatoes. So this is, or mashed potatoes. So this is completely different. So it's not only important to take care of what we eat, but how we cook. And finally, it's also interesting to take care of how can we eat, because uh, sometimes we don't eat, uh, we don't chew, we just gulp down the food. We don't uh, take the time, the necessary time to chew, taste, and prepare the food for the digestion process. That obviously changed dramatically all our flora, and we can have then bloating, uh, abdomen, and a lot of uh, problems with the flora. It's also very important not to take antibiotics unnecessarily or any other substances that normally go in the, the chicken, for instance, is full of antibiotics and some other uh, type of meat are also full of antibiotics that can destroy our flora and can uh, make the fungi flora, such as candida or some other types, uh, to grow and change and produce bloating and uh, very difficult problems and all these toxins that we produce they can be absorbed in our body and then they can produce obviously uh, problems with uh, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancer and many other things that we believe that they are genetic or they uh, come from uh, you know different sources. The flora is uh, practically the, one, the most important part of our body and we have to take care of that to avoid all the illnesses related with uh, the process of aging. In summary, if you can follow all these tips one by one, with discipline, with order, systematically, and it's not difficult, by the way, if you take uh, one by one, you can follow the and uh, make a program and you can come here, for instance, we have different uh, programs where we can uh, help you with all these tips and uh, give you information and give you help in order to get the best of yourself with this uh, aging process and give you the supplementation that you need, the hormonal replacement, the uh, nutritional advice, the exercise uh, solutions, and also examine with a lot of tests that we can do here. Our capacity is very high to identify all your microbiome, 
all the problems with hormones and all the problems with the stress and immune system. So come to Sha and you will can uh, you can improve uh, greatly your healthy aging. In addition to the medical benefits, the Sha experience has a market educational focus, which will allow our guests to incorporate in their life healthy habits that will contribute to continue the process of improving health, well-being, and vitality, initiated during their stay. Nutrition is the core of the Shah experience. It is a healthy, natural, energizing, and balanced. It is inspired by ancient principles of the Mediterranean and Japanese diets, adapted to modern life with a flexible, practical, and attractive approach, respecting nature's offerings at the time of year and local production. Our head chef, Lixi Linias, will show you today how to prepare the most delicious organic and balanced meal. Hello, World Travel Magazine viewers. I'm Linias Lixi, head chef of Shaw Wellness Clinic. Today we'll see a simple and easy recipe, Asian-style sautéed vegetable, made with tofu, onion, broccoli, fennel, zucchini, cabbage, some estragon, some ginger, some arame seaweed, and a product that we love in Shah is the sirtaki konjac, with 100% vegetable. We will use, the only fat will be the virgin sesame oil. So let's start the recipe. You will start by switch on the pan. We want to preheat it, and we're gonna go by sizzling the onion. We want to follow the shape of the onion, be careful with the finger. Voilà. And we're going to incorporate the onion into our preheat pan. And we want to make sure to break the onion to have a small julienne of it. From that, we're going to add a little bit of sesame oil, non-toasted, very important, to have it virgin. It's the equivalent of one coffee spoon. And we're going to lower the fire because we don't want the onion to burn. We don't choose them to caramelize, so we have to be gentle. So at the minimum, and we let it caramelize. We're gonna pass for the second ingredient. We're gonna go for the zucchini. On this day, we have the round zucchini. We can find in any market. If it's difficult, you can go for the normal zucchini. We want to remove the pedoncule of it. We reserve on the side. We're gonna go for the broccoli, seasonal winter broccoli. We're gonna add a little bit of water into the onion to don't help us to don't burn, but it will cook. Just a little bit, not too much. So we're going to prep the broccoli. We just want the head of it. I'm going to cut them into. Following with the savoy cabbage. On 
the fabric a bit, we want to remove the first leaves. We could go also with Chinese cabbage. If we don't find Savo's cabbage in our market, Chinese cabbage is quite adequate also. And from the, ca the, the cabbage, we want to remove the core of it. So, for that, we just go with a knife and remove the middle of it. It's the half part of it. We could keep it to do a fetch stock. And we're gonna cut in small dice. Like that. And we're gonna keep it on the side. We don't have to forget the onion, who's caramelizing, as you can see. They're getting a nice color, a nice golden color is gonna give taste, but also color to our dishes. And now we're passing for the funnel. We want to remove the center of it. So by cutting the feet and just with the knife, we can remove the core of the funnel. We can keep also those for the stock. For the funnel, the top part, we slice it, it's going to bring texture to our dishes. And for the half part, the same as the onion. While that, the arame seaweed, you need to rehydrate it because it's coming dry. So for that, we will add some water. The water has to be filtered or from a mineral bottle because the importance of the water is the quality of it. We'll soak it for about five minutes. So now we're gonna cut the tofu. It's a smoke firm tofu. We want to dice it. up with small dice that we're gonna add to our onion and start the stir fry. We're gonna add a little bit of sesame oil, the equivalent of one coffee spoon. But also we're gonna add the tarragon, the entire leaves. We don't need to chop the leaves. So now that we have the tofu salted with the onion and the tarragon, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, a pinch of it, we mix it. We're gonna add the seaweed, the arame seaweed. It's very important to press it to remove all the excess of water. And add it to the pan. Give a good stir.
We're going to add also the konjac. Very important to cook the konjac. It's a raw product. We're going to deglace with a bit of umeboshi vinegar. It's a plant harvesting in Japan. Very good to remineralize the body. But also to give that acid part and also a little bit of saltiness. From that, we're going to add the vegetable. And we're going to let it cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. We're going to add a little bit of water to help at the cooking of the vegetable. So now we're going to pass to the ginger juice. So to make a ginger juice, you need a grater, ginger roots. You don't need to peel it because all the nutrients will be on the skin. You just grate it from the big face of your grater. You want to make sure your elaboration is finished. So for example, our stir fry. Now we are having to the time of cooking. As you can see, it's nice, caramelized. Everything is cooked as it has to be. And we're going to switch off the fire because it's very important for the ginger to not boil. And I'm going to get the ginger in my hands and just press over it. Have a good mix. So now for the pitching. We're going to finish with some lentil sprout. We could finish with other sprout also, as the soya sprout. And with some coriander leaves on the top of it. Voila. And here we have the Asian style sauteed vegetable with tofu.